Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about our friend Elvis Presley. Lots of fun. So let's get started. So we're going to talk about his career here a little bit. So in 1957, his first gospel record was released and the four song album titled Peace in the Valley certified as a million seller. So it had over a million sales. It became the top selling gospel album in recording history. Presley would record gospel periodically for the rest of his life. That same year, Presley paid $100,000 for Graceland, which is a plantation mansion set in a 13 acre park. Today, it is a major tourist attraction in Memphis, Tennessee. Toward the end of his military service in 1959, Elvis met Priscilla in West Germany where he served in the army. And she lived there because of her father who served in the Air Force. After his return from the military service in 1960, Presley continued to perform rock and roll, but the characteristic style was toned down a lot. His first post-army single, the number one hit, Stuck On You, is a good example of that. Now Presley's output during most of the 1960s emphasized pop music, often in the form of ballads, such as Are You Lonesome Tonight, which was a number one hit in 1960. Another one titled It's Now or Never, which also topped the chart that year. Gotta love that crazy outfit of his. <laughs> so, between 1961 and 1969, Elvis didn't play any shows or any performances. May 1st, 1967, he married Priscilla and his daughter Lisa Marie was born a little under a year later in February of 1968. In 1968, following a seven year break from live performances, he returned to the stage in the TV comeback special titled Elvis, which led to an extended Las Vegas concert residency and a lot of highly successful tours. Between 1969 and 1976, he performed in Las Vegas over 800 times. He had a contract with the International Hotel, which later became the Hilton. When he was booked, he played two shows a night for seven days a week. In between that time, he and his wife Priscilla went their separate ways in 1973. And Elvis remains a Vegas icon or something that uh, basically just a fancy way of just saying that he's still considered to be a major star in Vegas. And so much so that some people actually make their living there as an Elvis impersonator, which basically means they do everything they can to dress up just like him, sound like him, look like him, and have different outfits that basically make you think that it is Elvis, even though we know that's not the case. So here's a couple quick photos of our friend Elvis and Priscilla when they got married. Again, May 1st of 1967. They look so cute together. And this is a year, well, this isn't a year later, but this is a little bit later, a few years later. A cute photo of the family. Of, that's Lisa Marie right there. She's just adorable. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to talk about a song called Jailhouse Rock. Now this song was written by a guy named Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller. RCA Records released the song September of 1957 and the song had a film release of Presley's motion picture called Jailhouse Rock. It was pretty fitting. Now Rolling Stone magazine included it at number 67 on its list of the 500 greatest songs of all time and was named one of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 500 songs that shaped rock and roll. In November of 2016, the song was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. And the film version actually is a little different from the single version of the song which features um, instrumentation and vocals that are in the background that aren't heard on the actual record itself. So just a quick 
note in case you listen to the record maybe with your parents and you happen to listen to this one um which is an actual like performance music video type thing which is again a little bit different from the recording on his album okay let's take a listen and enjoy That song's lots of fun. I love listening to that. It's good stuff. Alrighty. I wonder if you've recognized that song before. Maybe you might've heard it on the radio before, or maybe your uh, parents listen to Elvis. Either way, if you already heard it before, I hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, never heard this song before, I hope you actually enjoyed it too. Um, it's always fun to listen to new music you haven't heard before. And Elvis always has some upbeat stuff to listen to for the most part. And it's always fun watching him perform. Alrighty, friends, thank you for listening along with me and participating with me, and I will see you next time.